Hello everyone and in today's video we're gonna work on the sidebar for our feedback application. Uh, it wasn't easy to do but uh, we're gonna take a look on the final result and you will see what we achieved by doing this. Uh, also do not forget to subscribe, press the like button and uh, the ring bell. So take a look and enjoy the video. Uh, this is what we're gonna do. The one thing is uh, filtered by category. It appears that we could filter by category of the item. Uh, the next thing is roadmap, where we check in which state our feedback and then calculate them and show the correct value. For this, we're gonna use our reduce and also our application already become SPA so it's possible to <laughs> go to run web page and see it I'm not gonna do this one small thing because I think you don't need a tutorial how to do such stuff so we're gonna start working on categories filter first and this one is the easy one to do so no sense doing this right uh, before the other so and this one wasn't easy to implement but we'll see how to do it and uh, it's going to be an example for you uh, the first thing that we need to do is to create a component <coughs> oh sorry sorry <laughs> it's still sickness gonna kill me sometime so uh, the first thing we're gonna create a component uh, let's call it categories filter uh, and put it into where the, into containers uh, so to generate component in GG and uh, components and then we need containers, uh, categories, uh, filter. And we're going to put it inside of our feedback page. We have here sidebar. And let's call it here app categories filter like this a bunch of things oh. so categories filter is working uh, then for achieve this uh, thing the main idea of this filter is whenever you click UA, UI UX for example you will be able to see only the items related to these two categories if you click all you should off or remove these two and all should be selected so it's a bit tricky uh, for this i prefer to use material uh, material has a button toggle so it's almost the same thing but there are no all behavior kind of it's possible to select multiple and so on but no all button so that's the main difficulties uh, to install this what we need to do get started and the uh, possibility to add them using uh, angular CLI so we just install in the package yes So meanwhile, uh, the installation is going. We need to step our app. Custom, Indigo, uh, custom. So no, we don't need the global styles, animation, no, no, no. We don't need anything like that. And uh, 
let's move further. I believe it was installed. Uh, to use it, we need to our modules uh, add this component. Is it done? Yeah, it was installed. And we will start one more time. And we need to add mod uh, button to go module here. Okay, not possible to find out it. Uh, but let's just copy this API reference and we should be good here. Okay. Uh, where are our website. Here it is. So the next thing that we're gonna do is uh, we already edit our component. We have here our categories to be able to use it. So first of all, let's add section, call it uh, class categories. To be able to use uh, our buttons, what we need, we need to call mod button toggle group. And uh, there exists also mod uh, button toggle. So it's for each button. We have this behavior. So two items, it's already working, fine. Uh, also we need to be able to choose several determined. We need to add attribute multiple to be able to choose uh, two items at the same time. <coughs> Sorry. And uh, here we're gonna use in G4, but first of all, we need to be able to get the list of our items. For this, we have, uh, what is it? Yanams, probably. Yeah. So here, uh, the Yanam category for all our items. I will add here a constant and call it category list. It's gonna be equal array. And it's gonna be an array of items and each item is gonna be value, for example, all and a label also all but the text which we should display here UI UX and it should be uh, all text should be big for UI UX but in, in general we could only use why do we need this if we can uh, capitalize each item but it's pr better to uh, have it in this way just later on to retrieve from the end uh, another one enhancement um, bar and feature And here I forget to add comma. So this one in place. Uh, the next step is here to have a variable. Let's call it categories, which is gonna be equal our list of items. Also it's possible to get this as observable, for example, from server to do a call and that's it. Uh, and then we can uh, also we need here category change event uh, to be able handle change uh, 
on our buttons. Uh, here we determine also we're gonna add for each uh, toggle button in G4 and here categories one item is category this we remove uh, text is gonna be category label <coughs> sorry and let's proceed with attributes per each button so we have in G4 to work with our list of items then we need uh, told what uh, value we're gonna use for our button <coughs> if we say nothing here then the value for button but I can show as an example yeah the value for button is gonna be all our object so value plus label let's uh, add here change uh, category change here and we're gonna pass an event and uh, mod button to go change the event for this is gonna be so here we just put event and type of it mod button to go change this one uh, and let's show it console log event and uh, why 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 we have only two items here and because I didn't save this so it's already all items here and as you can see it's trigger each time and to be able to see the uh, value of our item we need to go to source I hope you could see what I'm showing here and then the button uh, value will be in uh, source and somewhere here should be value I don't see value here. Feature, source. Value. Ah because we didn't determine anything yes change event category and let's try to set the value so it could it could be category As you can see, the whole object could be, but it's not our case. But in general, if you need it, or we can set just value. So it's possible to have already the value. Uh, what else do we need here? We need to just have an ID. But for this, no, no, we, we will go without ID. Uh, and then we're gonna need uh, classes it should be button and button category uh, it still looks not good but it would it is gonna at some point uh, let's d just work on the logic for our buttons so the next thing uh, we need to be able to use a store to work on it so that means that we need to have here private store the type of its store and the type state from reducer you just import this data we will need 
to uh, in constructor to select active categories which we have in our store and uh, once uh, the change event happened we will need to dispatch to set the active category to be able to do this let's first uh, determine the active categories in our reducer for this we're gonna add in interface active categories and the type of it is gonna be string array uh, by default it's gonna be all and here category num and all and dispatch action we're gonna add a bit later uh, and we need to be able to select active categories uh, for this it's gonna be just simple selector uh, select uh, active categories root and active categories here uh, and then in the component itself we just in constructor we need to add here active categories categories variable it's gonna be observable and type of its string array uh, and then active categories equal uh, the store uh, pipe and here select from generic store and we need to select that active active what is the name of it uh, select but it's better to use get probably I don't know but it's okay select active categories yes and then why would we need this to pass as a value to our group so it's possible to have here value also and it's going to be equal active categories async And what is the problem? I forgot to save this, the usual thing. So as you can see, it's it was all by default. Let's try to, for example, to have another enhancement active by default. So you see, enhancement is pre-selected. But we need to have all here. And the next thing that we need to have uh, actions uh, we need to add new action here when we select a category so category selected it's gonna be equal create action let's copy this but in general we can copy this whole thing uh, let's name it a category selected and the props of this gonna be selected category and the type is gonna be string I const forgot to add const like this and in our components once we have a change event let's just add if here just to be sure that we have an, an value and here we need this store dispatch uh, and what is the name uh, category category selected selected And here we need 
to pass an object with selected category and the value of this is going to be US source value like this and this we need to import from our state and what we gonna have in our Redux let's take a look our state and here we have active categories all still all ah I forgot <laughs> I forgot to handle this in uh, in the reducer. Correct. <coughs> in the reducer. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. In the reducer, we're gonna have the most funny things here. So it's gonna be feedback actions. Uh, category selected and we're gonna have here state and selected category like this okay here we have uh, several scenarios that we need to handle one of them if uh, we select kind of the same value then uh, no sense to change anything so that means if uh, for example I select Bach what change what why I need to do anything here and so we need to uh, handle action when uh, at least one category should be selected. So it's not possible to uh, not have selected categories. For this, we need to, uh, let's add command, at least one category uh, should be selected. So for this case, we need to uh, check that in our state active categories length of our items equal one and uh, state uh, active categories this one is equal to selected category. If it is like this, mm, Why, why, why? Uh, return by default, we're gonna return uh, just to avoid errors state. but it's not gonna happen so here if we didn't change anything we're gonna return our state as it was before and uh, active categories should be also the same so it's state and active categories no changes so far the next case that we're gonna deal with mm, it's when we need to add new active category to our list uh, for this we're gonna check so there are a few things if for example there are a few selected and some change happen we need to check is it active category right now or no so we need to know should we remove it or add it in our state for this we're gonna find uh, const uh, we define here 
a variable is it active category and it's gonna be equal state active categories and we gonna check using uh, some function if we have in our categories list uh, the same category selected category like this then we check we add in one more if uh, if is it active category if it's an active category then we need to remove it from store we need to do it in this way to achieve this we need to find what is the index of our state active categories uh, index of uh, of our selected category uh, then we gonna define a new array new array uh, based on our state active categories because we can just uh, do all this manipulation in directly in state then we uh, removing our uh, item from new array and we return here a new state for our active categories so here we have return uh, this should be like this state and active categories should be equal to new array like this uh, then if it's not an active category and there are also few uh, scenarios uh, if category is not active so for example if uh, this category not active so you wait it so if it's not an active category and we have selected few but we select then all that means that we need to remove this all and put just all if it's an active category uh, not an active we just need to edit and that's it so there are also a few things to deal with uh, if if is it not an active category and we here uh, if selected uh, category is all then we need to remove all items and add only all category so we just uh, select uh, check that selected category is it active to uh, category yandam all if yes then we just return let's copy this return and instead of new array we put here category num all uh, that's what we need to do in this case if as and if it's not the selected category if selected category not all then what we're gonna do we need to do several things uh, 
so it could be the case when all was selected and we select this so we can just add this one so i mean like this only all active and we select for example enhancement that we need to remove all and add enhancement only but if uh not all was selected but for example ux then we do not do not need to uh, do anything and just simply add this so that's the plan if selected not all uh we need uh uh remove all if it's active or you just add a new item so in both cases we need to add a new item but it depends if uh, the all is active const but uh, is all active we just need to check that is it active or not uh, also we're gonna use some here category category your num all if is there anything then uh, we need to do if is all active what are you gonna do in this case but if all active that means that for example if all active that means that we can uh just uh do the next we can just return state and active categories and here we can do like this if no then we would we do next uh then I return a state and active categories is gonna be the list of items that we had before so that we could grab this and just add here selected category so the thing is like this not the small action but at some point we can think uh, how to also refactor this seems everything is working as expected but there are a lot of use cases and this is the active the main uh, cases that i could see it's not pretty but it is what it is and the next step that we need to deal with is to add our styles to uh, our buttons but first of all why it should be like this so for this we need to uh, feedback page i don't need it so we need categories and this uh, we have categories here uh, background should be white and border radius 10 and also all our buttons uh, need to be what is the padding of this uh, twenty four pixels padding uh, twenty four and at the bottom but there are gonna be some merging between items 14 so it should be 24 10 and then uh, margin bottom do we need to have some yes it's also 24 pixels and uh, the next uh, we need to define the styles for our uh, buttons and 
reload this. No, nothing. I forgot to save as usual. Uh, so here, what we have? We need to set that they should be standard. Or can we use just? We need to use this. We need to say that it's going to be display flex, flex, flow, raw, raw, yeah, raw, no, but it should be wrap, yes, and uh, border zero, border zero, should be like this, already a bit better, uh, so, what is the item of this? Not bad on the galopinus. Okay. Display flex, flex, floor, row, wrap, and border zero. Like this. Uh, and there's some. Uh, border zero border radius 10 pixels uh, so for this I need to grab this one small thing uh, and put it here and border 0 and do I have uh, my styles for button 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 category yes so we're missing a few things here cursor on place uh, but why it's, it looks strange a bit what the size of it should be 30 pixels and they appears in the wrong way a bit all UI UX should be at the same uh, so we need to have a margin per each of item so for this we use so we're gonna use button category here and margin right should be 14 and bottom 14 so margin 0 14 14 0 <coughs> To do it in this way, maybe. Where you are, where you are, my styles. Margin. Zero fourteen pixels, zero fourteen pixels. Oof, oof, oof. Margin fourteen. Top right, bottom fourteen. Zero. But why there are no Margin right. Do 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 do. So it's all we need to do in the styles. So it appears here. 
because it's a global styles we need to go here what is it I don't have anything like this it's from probably uh, because we installed yeah material material decided that he needs to add his them okay it's better right now probably <laughs> so we four categories we need to do several things so standard is gonna be a bit difficult I the pattern to go this one I need it and I need to remove what uh, the button to go is there some padding yes padding zero uh line 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 height i will set pixels uh font weight size set Okay, I don't need to have this. Uh, to go checked, I need to change the styles. Do I have this color? In variables, variables, primary color yes, and the class for. mod button to go checked a bit difficult to work with uh, custom not custom but when you use third party libraries color should be white and variables primary hover background like this Okay, it's here, and I also would like to have transition all to S. Okay, it's smoother. Uh, and why it still looks not in a good way? Size of it, uh, button. Line height 30 pixels. No. Uh, line height 30 pixels. Yes. And what is it padding about? Padding zero. Yes. So I need to update my Google uh, label content. Uh -huh -huh -huh. For this, we add here line height uh, 30 pixels and padding 0. What we have right now? Okay, a bit better, but also we still missing some styles for which items I need to edit. Margin Should be like this probably, but not for checked. But for this, yep. And do we need to have a hover state? Yes, we need to change it a background to. Do I have this? Yes. 
uh, and also when we have a hover to have a ground okay and small issue here you see the issue once we click in uh, the active area only on button so we shouldn't have padding here there is a padding of it uh, so we put padding zero and 15 pixels is it okay for us 19 16 16 should we have so the issue is that once we click in at the right side nothing happens so we should uh, edit especially for button uh, mud button to go button so for this we're gonna have padding 0 16 pixels and for button we're gonna have uh, padding 0 should be fine yeah Whew. it wasn't easy and fast but I hope it's gonna be clear how to deal with it but as you know you can left a comment under this video and we all could discuss what is going on uh, one thing that I forgot to show you <laughs> it's how to uh, actually store uh, not store but uh, filter these items by selected categories to do this we need to uh, update our selector uh, to for getting uh, the list of feedbacks so the changes is here for this one thing uh, what is the difference so uh, let's return like this the difference is that we need to have here one if and here check if state active categories uh, length equal one but actually we could copy these uh, selected feedbacks in this thing but we don't need to rely uh, okay let's uh, do it in another way let's keep it uh, selected feedbacks uh, filter it let's call it and we just update the name and uh, let's copy it from uh, reducer so we need to have the same thing there uh filter it okay and if state active categories lens one and uh, uh active the name of active category is all then we need just uh return uh the state dot list that means that we do not need sort anything but in case if we have uh, some other categories we need to filter this list uh, by feedback by active categories to be able to do this we're gonna add filter and for each feedback state active categories and if sum of an active category active category is equal to a uh, feedback uh, category then we uh, feedback feedback ah. 
equal to feedback categories, then we're gonna return it. So what did we did? So if all we return, let's return enhancement. Ah, because I <laughs> let's return, yeah. So we need to take a look on our list components and ah, it's from feedback page. Here we select suggestions sorted and all at the same time we're doing sort and filter select feedback suggestions status enum suggestions and it's also should be not on the, the list it should be suggestions so it's kind of a chain of items here so we have sorted but here we should work with suggestions so it's not the root, it's suggestions only should be. And here we have the list of I feedback. And here we also need to have our state. Uh, select the root, where is it? Here it is. Uh, Select a root. Now we need to have only state here. How to do this? Uh, and uh, get active categories. I added somewhere. Uh, active. Select active categories. Yes. I need this list. Feedback suggestions. Active categories. So it's going to be list and. Uh, active categories it's a string of and here we need to remove the state and active category blah 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 yes and select it if sorted then we need filter it and sort it so we here in this way let's take a look so if it's enhancement uh -huh. did I update this in feedback page uh, suggestion sorted should be nothing why nothing enhancement here is the first one feature enhancement is there something wrong with the items with enhancement take a look state feedbacks list it's not in the suggestion category yes no it's in it all six of them bach is here what is wrong with enhancement? If it's enhancement, maybe I write it in the wrong way. Category and num. Enhancement. Okay, there's an error. 
but how it should look okay it was my error yeah nums i just missed here yes is enhancement where no what selected category uh, how we have values here it's quite difficult to find out from where it but yeah at some point we need to deal with such thing so here categories active categories and categories list Yeah, we should be good. Yes, enhancement, Bach feature. Right, all, all UI, UX, nothing, enhancement. So it's how to deal with <laughs> filtering. Uh, a bit tricky part left, but it's gonna be a good example for reduce. And for some of you who might do not know what is the usage of reduce it's gonna help but yeah let's start uh, creating roadmap so basically for roadmap we need also to do a few things uh, first of all as usual let's generate components it's gonna be components and here wow wow easier but map sorry a lot of disturbance at my place Hi, hey. <laughs> go 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 away <laughs> sorry <laughs> yeah so we generated roadmap let's put it uh, underneath of our uh, of our categories block it's gonna be app uh, on map but the name of it should be not app roadmap it's better to use roadmap widget let's rename it because I made a mistake here because it's gonna be a small thing. Roadmap. Oh, shit. A lot of items need to rename. Okay, let's use a roadmap. For now, it's gonna be fine. Uh, for roadmap, we just need to uh, grab all our items that we have here. And in general, it's total summary of uh, each item by category. So let's edit it, uh, roadmap. As usually, we need to have section here. The class of it is going to be road map uh, widget. Also, we need to put here uh, deal with class title block. And it's going to be flex because we have two items in the row display flex and h3 is going to be road map and uh, a it's gonna be class link we do not have hrf here and uh, in routing uh, I would like to also to add another container here 
root map page and to define here we're gonna call it uh, root map component should be root map page pass match uh, we don't need to have it full here and redirect uh, and also if it's an <coughs> sorry let's have here feedback redirect to feedback and let's define here if it's an something wrong with data uh, as much full should be a string uh, empty feedback yes plus mass much full like this to be able to go to the another page and here we need to add a router link equal at road map like this and the name should be view okay uh, to handle the behavior of this we need to create another select here and this each item should retrieve the grouped data by uh, status and also the count of numbers in our store we already have what feedback uh, what is wrong protein feedback yeah So we have in our state, we already have all items that we needed for feedback. It's our list of items. And we just need to get uh, the data from it. To be able to do this, we need to add another selector. Selectors. Also, we have here the uh, possibility to get suggestions but suggestions it's not our case we need select feedbacks ah no we need all except suggestions yes so we need to use our select feedbacks here let's see so it should be export const uh, rot get uh, road map widget road map widget items create selector and let's select here do we need root <coughs> can we use select feedbacks in state list select feedbacks and then uh, what is the it's gonna be state list the i feedback list uh, list i feedback like this uh, then we're doing the following we need to return uh, the uh, list but first of all we need to filter each item to be uh, able kind of to be sure that we do not have suggestions here so each of our item feedback should be filtered feedback uh, status uh, do not equal to status num suggestion like this and then we're gonna use reduce to group our items but 
by some problem. So there are several examples you can find. It's it uses uh, different behaviors. It could calculate the sum, blah blah blah. So different things could be done by reduce. But in our case, we just need to calculate the uh, count of each item by status. So what we gonna have here? Uh, we gonna return uh, the particular type of data. It's gonna be a data model. We need to define it here. So export interface. We gonna return that uh, we have, for example, uh, in progress and one then uh, etc two in this way <coughs> so it's better to define the type uh, key string number for example and here we need to put the type of key is gonna be string and the value is gonna be number like this then reduce we need also to tell which type we're gonna use to avoid errors in TypeScript and uh, here we're gonna have uh, accumulator and current value what we're gonna do is the following in we're gonna return by default accumulator and uh, we need to check that is our item current uh, status already in uh, site of accumulator if yes we just need to add plus one if no we need uh, add property with current status and uh, put the number one. So to do this, we need to check uh, current uh, status is in accumulator. And if yes, then we do the following. Current status plus plus. If no, then we add in the new status into our accumulator. Okay, uh, initial value was not provided. Why? It's probably that I need to use here select root. Let's try in this way. And here, state, state, and here, state feedbacks. Why you not exist? Should be list, yes. Yes, it's list of item. Then filter feedback. <coughs> Sorry. I see what is a, an error. We need to provide initial value here. That's it. Yeah. And uh, also we need to where is it? Here we need to add as usual private store store 
and the type of it should be state. And inside of constructor, we need to do the following. We need to create here an observable rot rot map widget items and the type of it uh, should be observable uh, key string number and uh, rot map widget items equal the store uh, pipe select from a generic store and we need to get these items okay and we don't need any need here i prefer to remove unused things to have less code inside of application and then we need to do here G if and what is the name of it? Uh, map, uh, widget uh, async s uh, rod map items, for example. And uh, then, then, then we need to have uh, our statuses as you know. Uh, status status is enum enum what is wrong with you uh, status enum like this and then uh, for each item let's first of all do this maps and print them as JSON. Okay, something already here. As you can see, planet in progress life. Everything here. And planet should be first. So we need to do the following here. So each hour the is gonna be flex. Uh, and also we need to differentiate them by color so first is going to be planet uh, then inside of it we gonna because it's flex we need to split them let's do it to spawns and first item is going to be uh, planet so we have uh, fit back status enum here let's call it a uh, planet what is wrong Like this and then we need to have here rot uh, the count which we get so it's a uh, road map items road map items with this status planet two Let's do a copy and this how it should look. It should be strong. So let's change spawn to strong. And let's have a copy of these two. And uh, this one, which one? In progress and life. In progress. And this one should be life. So here in uh, 
and the last one is should be life. And this we could remove. Yes, yes. <coughs> Sorry. So roadmap in general is done. Let's quickly add the styles for this, and then we're gonna be ready to go. Uh, so, what we should have? Oh, we need definitely import here our variables. Import uh, from source app styles and variables because we need to have colors here and etc. Uh, then uh, we have <coughs> our widget. Ground as usual, uh, white, border radius 10 pixels, and what should be the padding? 24 as usual, probably. Padding uh, 24 pixels. Uh, then we need to change uh, the color for our roadmap, what it should be. Rebels is primary, three color primary, and is there any margin? And for title block, we need to have a title block. We need to have display flex, flex floor, row, no wrap, and align items uh, baseline <clears throat> and justify content space between justify content space between like this yep then we need to add uh, the styles for our link but we do this a bit later so we have color whatever we need uh, for ul we need to remove padding uh, parent zero and for each li item yes zero each e has display flex yes so flex floor row no wrap uh, eight pixels margin bottom eight uh, then justify content space between uh, align items baseline. Uh, yep, what is the styles for this? Uh, Sixteen. That's it. No other styles. And what is the color? Uh, variables, variables. It's primary light. Okay. Color this. Size 16. And the color for this is another. Now also the same, and we need uh, text transform capitalize, I believe. Yep, as it should be, and then we need to have what is a 16 and the width 24, so position relative, uh, padding left 24. And then, and before, uh, we should have um, content uh, width 8, height 8, radius 50, and position absolute, top uh, 7, left 0. And then for each 
of these items planet and planet before the ground should be for planet it should be like this uh, probably I do not have it planet bubble uh, for in progress in progress should be this one and the last is life life so uh, for this background and uh, in progress life and instead of planet we're gonna change it to in progress okay much better and let me quickly take a look on the position of fit yeah looks good and also the last thing that i want to add for this is buttons uh, live or oh, no live or oh, link uh, what the styles of it should be so hover uh, color should be this one Primary hover. This uh, font size thirteen semi bold. Weight six uh, font size thirteen, and uh, there are some uh, text decoration underline. And once it's hover the color should be these variables uh, link hover like this and buttons 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 so text decoration underline and once it's hover color should be this one and also I would like to add transition to this all and two seconds so it should be yep pretty good I would say I think this one to add is pretty easy so I will do it without camera and without stream because do not want to take any more of your time. So we just finished working on our sidebar for our application and I hope it, this video is gonna be helpful because we uh, checked and uh, worked with a few things such as uh, toggle buttons from material. Uh, also, we had an example of reduce in JavaScript and also TypeScript, how to use it to group some items and count. And I think this video is gonna be really helpful for you. Also, thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. But also do not forget to leave a comment if you do not understand something or if you want to ask any question. Uh, support me by your subscription and like button. It's really important and helps me a lot to be motivated. So thank you. Enjoy the video, uh, the weekends, and have a good evening day. Bye bye.